Welcome to the Hong Kong University Faculty of Engineering. HKU is one of the greatest universities in the world. Of course you know that HKU is the number one university in Hong Kong as well. And engineering was one of its founding faculties well over 100 years ago. My name is David Srolovitz and I'm the Dean of Engineering. It is my pleasure to meet with you today. Information Day is an important event for the entire faculty. It is our opportunity to introduce you to the Faculty of Engineering and its undergraduate academic programs. It also provides you with an opportunity to talk directly with some of our professors and current students. Today, our goal is to provide you with some new insights into Hong Kong University's engineering, as well as some useful tips to enhance your application. I hope you enjoy what we've prepared for you today and that you follow up with us afterwards. In a moment, you will join our Engineering Study in HKU webinar. Here you'll meet several of our professors, all our members of our Engineering Admissions Committee, as well as two current students. Our professors will discuss with you some of the new elements of our engineering programs. Our students will share some of their personal experiences in studying engineering at HKU. After the webinar, please join our virtual admissions talk by representatives of our departments and programs. Afterwards, they'll be able to answer all of your questions in person. Of course, you are also invited to visit our virtual booth throughout the day for more information. Apart from today's activities, we warmly welcome you to visit live our campus next week. When you do, we'll be proud to help you explore our advanced engineering laboratories and new student spaces, such as our recently opened Tom Wing Fan Innovation Wing, the place where I am right now. To come, you'll have to register ahead for your visit, as there are limited spots, so please register early. For more information, please visit our faculty website. Lastly, enjoy the day. We hope to see you soon as a student of our HKU Faculty of Engineering. Our mission is not only to prepare you for a successful career, but also to enable your intellectual growth and for you to establish the relationships that build a successful, fulfilling life. Hello everyone, I am Kelvin Orr from the Faculty of Engineering. I am the Chairman of the Engineering Admissions Committee and also a faculty member of the Department of Industrial and Manufacturing Systems Engineering. Today with me, we have Dr. Edith Ai, uh, she is a member of Engineering Admissions Committee and also a faculty member of uh, the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. We also have two final year uh, students being here with us, uh, Seth uh, from the Department of Triple E and also we have uh, Wilson here from the Department of Civil Engineering. We are here to tell you more about engineering study in HKU. Edith, uh, there are many uh, exciting and excellent uh, projects uh, in the Faculty of Engineering. So uh, one of them is uh, the robotic uh, fish uh, projects. Uh, in the projects, uh, we have uh, an uh, HKU engineering student team and the team has created uh, the world's fastest uh, robotic fish. And also the project uh, set a new uh, Guinness uh, World uh, Record for the second time. Have you heard of that? Yes, of course. This is the reason why I have invited Sat here today. So Sat is one of our project leaders in the robotic fish team. Maybe Sat could tell us more about the project. Uh, sure. Thank you. My name is Sad. I'm currently in my fourth uh, year studying computer engineering. I was one of the project leaders for the robotic fish team. We actually started as a small group of engineering students who wanted to do something cool. And what's cooler than making a robotic fish? a fish that is fastest in the world. As exciting the task was ahead of us, it was even more daunting, as not much work was done on it before. And a couple of students, like us, were going to do something absolutely novel. No matter how impossible it sounded, the faculty and the department, after seeing our passion, were eager to give us an opportunity. They provided us with the space, funding, and technical assistance as required. Four years later, we got our first Guinness World Record, and then a year later, our second one. We are, we are now faster than the Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps himself, covering 50 meters in just under 23 seconds. I worked on it since my year one, and then later transformed it into Breed Robotics, which is a bio-inspired robotics organization. Now we have more, uh, more robots as well. 
uh, one of the robots which we're currently working on is a robotic dog. Besides the Guinness World Record, our team has joined multiple innovation and design competitions. One of the most uh, distinguished of them being the, the Grand Prize Award from the Hong Kong Institution of Engineers. Additionally, we've also been featured on MIT Deep Tech Review as well. Sad. I know that Tang Wing Fang Innovation Wing provides huge maker space and excellent facilities for our students' projects. Have you heard about that? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, the Tam Wing Fan Innovation Wing is definitely at the core of innovation and interdisciplinary research at HKU because students can do their projects there and realize their ideas. It's not just a huge facility with maker spaces and tools, but an entire innovation ecosystem. Our team, Breed Robotics, was, was nurtured there as well uh, to become what, what it is today. InnoWing promotes ideas and collaboration between individuals and groups, and it provided us with a good system of technical support and supervision from on-duty professors and a well-structured funding system. Uh, it further gave us the opportunity uh, to, go, to go to many competitions. If you have an idea and want to make it happen, Innovation Wing is the place for you. Besides the, Inno uh, the Innovation Wing, we have the Innovation Academy as well, which provided us with ample opportunities uh, and equipped us with relevant technical knowledge and skills that we needed for our projects. They organized various workshops, sharing sessions with renowned guest speakers, and they came and, and shared their valuable insight and, and experiences with us, which proved to be very uh, effective to help us lead our projects. There's also an engineering inner show every semester, which is an exhibition to, to allow us to show our projects to professors, fellow stu students, and outsiders from the industry as well. It, it serves as an excellent opportunity for us to get feedback and garner more support for our projects. Uh, they also host pitching competitions every year to strengthen student problem solving skills and presentation skills as well. Students get to compete with their ideas to further uh, get support for their projects. Thank you, Saad. Uh, how about Wilson? Uh, can you share with us your experience in our uh, faculty at HKU? Um, sure, I'm a final year student uh, in civil engineering. Uh, my university life is fulfilling with both solid academic trainings as well as fascinating out-of-classroom experiences. Um, I've participated in an internship in uh, the Hong Kong Electric Company in last winter as an intern. For most of the training period, I was assigned to the Lama Power Station to gain site experience. People may think that C4 Engineering is only about building mega infrastructures. However, from my internship, I realized that C4 Engineering is a broad subject which shapes our society. For example, the company is constructing a more sustainable electricity generation system. Indeed, C4 Engineers take an irre irreplaceable role in safeguarding reliable electricity and water supplies, um, as well as uh, a safe living environment in Hong Kong. Yeah, in fact, internship is a very important part for experiential learning. In our programs, actually many of them involve um, this kind of internship. So our students will take like four to six weeks in the summer for their internship program. And our partners include government departments, public entities, construction firms, and even financial institutions. True, internship is uh, quite important indeed. But in addition to that, uh, I think uh, some students uh, may be interested in research. And I know that, Wilson, you, uh, you joined uh, the summer research program before. Can you uh, tell us uh, uh, more about that? Of course. Um, with my deep-rooted interest, I've joined the summer research program organized by the Graduate School of HKU. I was introduced to a variety of cutting-edge research on landslide prediction and mitigation measures. Also, I have the um, opportunity to contribute to review and underlying mechanisms for highly destructive landslides, which can grow in volume when they surge down the slope. Based on my um, excellent performance, at the end of the program, I was awarded with the conditional offer of the HKU Presidential PhD Scholarship from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Chang Jiang. In short, I'm deeply interested in mitigating natural hazards through engineering research. Wilson and Saad, our audience may also be interested in your university life. Could you tell us more about that? Oh, sure. Even though academic life can be tough and projects take up a good amount of time, 
My experience as an engineering student doesn't end there. I'm also a member of the HKU Dragon Boat team and previously the HKU rowing team as well. We are taught at HKU it is important to nourish both mind and body and I'm a staunch follower of this mantra. I have also taken part as an executive uh, committee member of the Muslim Student Association as vice president and uh, it has been a fulfilling experience uh, sharing this uh, with the co community at HKU. I was fortunate to be awarded the St. John's St Student Ambassador Award and as part of the program I attended a study tour to the University of Cambridge and Oxford in the UK. It is always my aim to strike a balance between academic and non-academic life throughout the three years of studies at HKU. I focus as much on study, but also managed to join some service learning program. I was also the president of Christian Association of HKU. And in year three, I joined the Hornell Hall Chinese Debate Team and achieved the second runner up of the Inter Hall Chinese Debate Competition. I was fortunate enough to have the chance to establish friendships and enhance other soft skills, such as social awareness and critical thinking through joining these activities. It seems both of you have a very busy but happy and fulfilling university life. That's true. As an, inter as an international student, when I was looking for a, a place to study my undergrad, I wanted an, a holistic experience. I took into consideration uh, things like cultural exposure, learning opportunities, and definitely fun. Without doubt, Hong Kong is one of the best cities in the world for students. It has a vibrant and unique culture, and it is a meeting point for people with multiple nationalities and ethnicities, which serves as an excellent learning opportunity. In addition, Hong Kong is one of the few places in the East where English is widely used everywhere, so it is much easier for me to integrate. HKU is a place that, that is full of international students, and HKU stands with the top universities in the world, ranked first in Hong Kong and fourth in Asia. Therefore, that's why I chose to come to HKU to uh, do my undergrad. After getting my offer from HQ Engineering, I found that there were many opportunities that I didn't know about. As an example, I had the opportunity to do a summer research project uh, at HKU under the Laidlaw Scholarship Program, and then I further presented my work at the annual Marine Robotics Conference at St. Petersburg. I further uh, complemented my, my experience through experiential learning opportunities like the Leadership Development Program, where I spent a month in Kuala Lumpur helping companies boost profits. Um, I totally agree with what Saad has just mentioned. In my experience, many local students cannot see that engineering is a rewarding career in which we can build something from nothing. Moreover, HKU has a strong reputation in engineering industry. This allowed us to enter into international renowned companies and work on interesting and innovative projects. On top of that, HKU offers a wide spectrum of programs which allowed us to connect with uh, world-class scholars and other disciplines to inspire each other. Wilson, you're right. Indeed, our faculty's programs are very comprehensive. So besides civil engineering, we also have computer science, industrial and manufacturing system engineering, and mechanical engineering. Apart from them, our faculty also collaborates with other faculties to hold new programs such as the biomedical engineering program with the Faculty of Medicine and the FinTech program on financial technology with the Faculty of Law and the Business School. Right, uh, Edith, not to mention uh, our uh, popular uh, double degree program, uh, Global Engineering with uh, Business. Students in that program, uh, they can earn uh, two degrees uh, after finishing the uh, study uh, in that program, one in engineering one in uh, business. Of course, uh, we also work with uh, the University of Cambridge, uh, a very uh, prestigious uh, overseas university in the UK. Uh, students who join that program, uh, they can uh, spend first two years in HKU. And then uh, they ha after the first two years, they uh, need to spend the third, fourth, and fifth year uh, in the uh, University of Cambridge. And then if they successfully finish the five-year study, uh, they will earn uh, basically uh, three degrees. One BNC uh, offered by HKU, and then uh, another uh, bachelor degree offered by Cambridge, and also uh, another uh, master degree offered by uh, Cambridge uh, as well. And also I'm sure that if students join that scheme, uh, they can uh, see a lot, uh, learn a lot from their school, 
from the courses they offer and also from the country as well. Definitely. Uh, professor, I heard that there is a new program this year too. What is that? Oh yeah, true, uh, Saad. Next academic year, uh, we will have a new program called uh, BEnch uh, in Data Science and Engineering. So uh, data science and engineering is a relatively uh, new discipline. It is a, basically a new paradigm for uh, problem solving uh, in engineering. Basically goes beyond the traditional computer science area, uh, statistics uh, fields, and also traditional uh, engineering area as well. Uh, data science has uh, created a lot of uh, job opportunity actually. Uh, for example, it, it creates a huge uh, demand for data uh, scientists and data engineers. Uh, their job basically is to design, develop, uh, evaluate, uh, maintain uh, data architecture, including the creation of uh, computer algorithm, uh, AI machine learning based uh, algorithm uh, for uh, problem solving actually. Great! So, Sutton Wilson, I know this is your final year in Hong Kong U. Can you tell us more about your career plan after graduation? Oh, sure. Um, for me, I like to make impact in my life and in the life of people around me. That's what drives me. The feeling of being part of something bigger than ourselves. Due to this, entrepreneurship has been a very lucrative path for me. Over my four years at university, I co-founded co an edtech startup as well as a robotic startup as well. The university has a thorough startup incubator system linked with the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park giving access to workshops, mentors, talents, and funding, plus space. We have a well-established startup ecosystem at HKU, and due to a high emphasis on interdisciplinary work, you are likely to meet talented individuals from other faculties to bring true innovation into reality. That's great. What about Wilson? For me, I hope to pursue a PhD in civil engineering to solve pressing global issues um, and to make this world a better place. Particularly, I would like to explore the influence of climate change on landslides and eventually develop novel countermeasures against them. I hope I will have the privilege to make a contribution to stop safety preparedness, not just locally, but internationally with high level of research. That's true. Actually, our graduate is no longer limited to traditional engineering career. Kelvin, could you tell us more about the career perspectives? Yes, uh, actually our students uh, can find uh, jobs uh, uh, in different fields uh, and areas uh, because uh, uh, all the uh, degree programs uh, in the, the Bachelor of Engineering and uh, Bachelor of Biomedical Engineering, uh, they are accredited by the Hong Kong Institute of Engineer. So such accreditation is also recognized uh, globally. So uh, again, the students can find jobs quite easily. In the past, our graduates, uh, they are hired by many different large uh, companies. Um, so in addition to those traditional engineering fields, uh, some of them join the emerging industry like uh, financial technology, people call that fintech, and also AI and robotics uh, as well. In fact, Hong Kong U uh, got the highest uh, employment rates uh, over uh, the year uh, compared to other local universities. In addition to that, uh, some graduates, uh, they may wish to have their own startup, like Sart. Uh, he has got his uh, startup for some years to facilitate that. Uh, HKU actually provides a lot of uh, opportunities and resources to support uh, students who have uh, an idea or a dream to establish uh, their own startup. Um, also, uh, with uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, innovation ring, the facilities uh, here, and also with the uh, Innovation Academy in the faculty, uh, we can further and continue to promote the spirit of uh, entrepreneurship. Some students also, they may want to do uh, research, like uh, Wilson. They may want to pursue a PhD degree uh, after uh, getting an undergraduate uh, degree. That is another opportunity for graduates uh, because they may want to uh, spend their uh, career doing research in the future. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much about the career prospects. And I uh, also I hope that sharing of Wilson and Sat about internship, about university life, about uh, the robotic fish, uh, all of the information uh, are helpful. Uh, if uh, 
you want to know more about uh, HKU Engineering and uh, want to know more about our programs, uh, join us uh, for the uh, virtual admission talks uh, uh, later today. And also join us uh, for the uh, virtual booth if you have uh, questions uh, to ask. Uh, if you want to see our labs and facilities uh, at HKU, do come to HKU on November 6th for lab tours because we will, op we will have open labs uh, that day. For doing that, you will need to register uh, for that uh, through the online registration system. So uh, thank you all of you for being here with us today. Uh, hope you have a good day. And I also hope that to see all of you at HKU in the future. See you. Bye-bye.